Can you believe that we are just days away from Christmas and the new year? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Today we are taking a stroll down memory lane and looking back at some of our favorite girl chats. Yes. Now we had our office party. We had our office holiday party last week and it was so much fun. Yes. Did you ladies have fun? We, had, party? Yes. we always have fun together. Yeah, we, yeah. Do. we do. It was a good time, I tell you. But remember, we heard that Jezebel was reporting that some companies are actually considering canceling their holiday parties this year due to the what? growing number of harassment stories that have been in the news lately. So one San Francisco design company director reportedly canceled his company's holiday party in fears that even something like flirting could get out of hand. Oh. And we had a lot a lot of thoughts about this, so take a look, y'all. I feel like don't cancel the party. C yeah. Cancel not knowing how to act. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's nothing wrong with the holiday party. There's something wrong with a person that doesn't know how to control themselves yes. enough to attend a holiday party. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually almost think it puts people on blast. Like, if you don't, like, I think this is the thing. We all should continue to do the things that we want to do. Continue to celebrate, continue to enjoy each other. And guess what? The climate is different because like, like um, Tam has said, everybody is now accountable. Yes. You you're have to be accountable. You're held accountable. Yeah. And I think it's great. And you, go ahead. One, one rotten apple shouldn't ruin the oh, whole yes, batch, right? Absolutely. Like you shouldn't have one person who can't like get it together who has no sense of self-control or respect for themselves yeah. to ruin it for everybody else because the company party is actually important for the company's morale. You want your people to like each other, to get yes. to know each other, and to just let loose after such a year of yeah. hard. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like holiday parties. I mean, I think it's all about finding a balance. Yes. I mean, when we have our Christmas party, a wrap party, we have a good I, time. You know, I get a little loose. I have fun. I dance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. How? I dance. I have, I have, yeah. <laughs> You've seen me. Yo, right? in Tamara, the no. We get down. When Tamara and Adam hit the dance floor after a couple of drinks, it looks like, seriously, no. And Adam can dance, yeah. right? No, you guys Adam can, dance. can dance. Yes, you do. Uh, okay. But there's a certain point where, like, the bump and grind, we you did, guys. We did a, a tasteful bump and grind. We did. We huh? were in sync, at least, because you know you how some know people are just like crazy. Do you know what a tasteful bump and grind is? I know, drunk? she don't even know what a bump and grind, I I, I I do, I wasn't tasteful. A taste, what is, what, is, is, there's no such thing yes, as there a tasteful is. bump and what grind. What is a tasteful bump and grind compared to a ratchet bump and grind? It's, at least we were like in sync with it and we were smooth. That's, we weren't that's, like, Okay. She's saying the difference between this yes. versus this. <laughs> There's a difference. We didn't do that. <laughs> I do want to say something about the office party, though. And I think we're losing the message is that it's not about sex. It's about power when it comes to these abuses yes. that are happening. Yes. So you canceling the party is not going to stop that. Yeah. I mean, I think you're hurting the, the innocent people, the people that just want to have a good time. Yeah. So I don't think that you should cancel it. It's always about power when it's people like that that abuse other people. Correct. It's not about the sex. Yeah, it's not about the sex. Absolutely. Also, I... This is going to sound weird because I'm not saying we should go out there and be the bait to catch these people. <laughs> Nobody is saying that. Right. But I will say that we should continue to do what we'd normally do. And if you act a fool, speak up. This right. is the time. Right. Somebody acts inappropriate. At the same time, I don't think that we should take everything as inappropriate. Yeah. Sometimes people be flattering themselves. I was just offering you a drink. I'm not <laughs> trying to kick it to you. You know? Yeah. Well, it's funny because I was balanced. Just, before we were about to start the show, we have our sound stage manager, Chris. Yeah. And so he was, um, he always tells us when to go. And I hugged him. Yeah. yeah. And I said, oh, and I had to check my, I said, this is just a hug. I'm yeah. not trying to, you know, and he started laughing because we're like that. It's funny how now we're becoming in this yeah. climate that we can't show love to each other and not, you know, people take it the yeah. wrong way. So it's yeah. like, yeah. let's it's still difficult. show love. It's yeah. difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. And there is, it, it can be confusing and it can be, uh, that face you just made is the perfect of how
how well, it can feel. Because yes. we got that light that keeps us. Yeah. Oh, there's a light that's flickering. Our Friday yeah. disco light is. It doesn't want to stop. Yeah. 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 It doesn't that's want to turn off. Oh, oh are, are you those people that like, quickly get distracted by peripherals? Like, well, you know why? Because when I'm doing my stand up, yeah. if I see anything that's funny, it gets my attention, so I have to check it oh, out. That's, that's so why. Funny. Yeah. Like it's that. just you know, it's a protection thing for me and my audience. If I see like, if somebody got up, I will see you. Yes. Well, good. I want you to be on watch. Yes. Yes. You know. So, On a lighter yeah. note, though, don't you guys love at company parties when you actually see the real character behind, like, <laughs> Dave from accounting? Uh, yeah. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. When you, yes. somebody, you see the person who's yes. real buttoned yeah. up, always, like, got their pencil and, you know, their notes all together. Right. But after a few drinks, they just lose they get their... Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. like that, that guy. I like that. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And well, I love it. Before, when I was single, we, we had a very fun time with actually someone from the legal department here who was super fun. Oh, yes. my God! I remember we that. Didn't, but we didn't... I embarrassed myself, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> well, um, Adrian <laughs> didn't know who that person was, and it wasn't was. somebody from our legal. It was, like, the head of the people from our legal. Yes. But we didn't know either, because we don't get to see yeah. everybody behind, you know, the office and the titles. Yes. And there Adrian was <laughs> after 1 a.m., which you know nothing good happens after 1 a.m. <laughs> but Adrian's leg came up real high, no, and I, I was like, eh, and eh, wait, we were eh. dancing, we were like that having fun, was bumping and, and then we head. fell. I remember on the that. dance floor, I Lonnie that. was helping us. No, Your leg that. was yeah. that high, you fell yeah. back? Yeah. Well, I was yeah. right here. So that's the, yeah. If you're gonna, if we're gonna take away something from this, you know, know who you dancing with and partying yes. with at the office party because yes. you don't want to get too turned up that you with the with extra the wrong extra person. boss and say the wrong thing. Yes, yes. You know, but so. the great thing was he was game, I was game. It was right. all in fun. We right. had a great time. Right. He he. What is that called? It wasn't unsolicited. Right. Yes. Right. It was like it was like yeah, come on, baby. Yeah. Oh. 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 of our hotline bling ringing. Yes, yes, that means that we have to interrupt. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that just means that we have to interrupt Girl Chat right now because I'm being told by our real representatives that we have a real fan on the line. Lonnie, shut up. Caller, are you there? Yes! Hi! We got two! Oh, my gosh! Okay, wait, both of you guys, Hi. tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Marie Hargrave, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I have an identical twin, Marilyn Ivy. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, she's great so. name, Marilyn. And then, what's your name, babe? Um, my name is Melandra Hargrave. They call me Mimi, and this is my mom. I wanted to wish her a happy birthday and my aunt a happy birthday. Baby, that's, that's your mom. mom. Oh, yes. my gosh. Oh, my it's God. Mom. It is on. She has oh a beautiful. God. Oh, my it's goodness. Awesome. Do you guys watch The Real every day? Every yes, single every day. day. Oh yeah, my, okay. Awesome. That's just a uh, routine. Like, I just have to watch it, so. Nice. You know, you guys, I'm 20, so keep me a lot. You said it's your mom's yeah. birthday? No, it's his. Yeah. Her birthday was on 11-11, so. Oh, it is! Wedding anniversary! Yes, 11-11. That is the best day ever. Okay, 11-11, okay, magical birthday. day. Okay, we gotta say birthday. One, birthday. two, one, two, three. Happy birthday! Twin sister. Yes, to both yes. twins. Wow. Happy birthday. day. Wow. Now, Marie and Melandria, listen, because we're about to see how big of a real fan you are since you say you watch us every day. I'm going to ask you a trivia question, and if you get it right, not only do you win a prize, but you hook up a prize for our entire audience. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. are you ready for the question? All four of our Halloween costumes from this year. Okay, um, Tamara was Nicki Minaj. Yes. Yeah. You were Kim. Yes. You were Kim. Um, Lani was Beyonce. Yes. And Adrian was Cardi B. Yeah. Beyonce, but I give it to you. Shut up. Okay. She's silly. Don't even listen to her. Okay, Melania, oh, I'm married. Oh, my gosh. 
Organic to Green is an innovative health and beauty lifestyle company that provides handcrafted organic formulas. They have so many great sustainable beauty products like Rainforest, Organic Sugar Scrub, Fragrance-Free Coconut Oil, and Air Eucalyptus Aromatherapy Spray. Ooh. And because you answered correctly, you and our audience, and you and everyone in our audience, are going home with a set of Organic to Green products. <laughs> forgotten about our viewers at home, you all out there, so head to thereal.com for your chance to win organic to green products of your very own. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, Thank you. The whole we, love you. we love you guys. Thank you, love guys. you. Happy birthday. See you. They're all so right. cute. They're so cute. Okay, let's Very jump cute. right back into Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So, if you do end up partying with coworkers, try to refrain from giving them any sexy nicknames. Unless, of course, you're actually dating them. Oh. Yes, in fact, a recent story on Madame Noir asked the question, is it okay for someone to call you baby or honey after only dating them for a short period of time? Mm. One woman in the article claimed that she only had two dates with a guy Ooh. that he's already texting her, how are you, babe? <laughs> so ladies, how long do you think you should date someone before you start giving them cute nicknames? What do you think? I think there's even a difference, honestly, between babe and mm -hmm. baby. Yeah, yeah. I know that mm -hmm. I even have girlfriends that I'm like, hey, babe, how are yep. you? Like, that's like a little bit more casual. Yes. Saying baby to me is a bit deeper. And my only concern with that is if you use that too freely, you're not just using that on me. Yeah. You've probably yeah, used okay. that on everybody. Hey, baby, what's up, baby? Yeah. And it just makes me think you don't know my name. <laughs> like, no, I'm not being funny. There are guys that use the word baby just in case, like, if they're multi-dating, as Lonnie encourages, they might not, you know, know who you are. They might, you know, if they're dating Lonnie, yeah, so Jeannie. I, I call everybody boo-boo, and I don't know their name. That is true, so yes. I'm my boo, my boo-boo. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. I like doing that, though. You know, even though you say, Adrian, that it, it almost like normalizes it, I like pe calling people by enduring, endearing titles. You know, like, hey, love, or what's mm -hmm. up, boo, or, you know, I think it's just a difference when you want somebody to know that you like them a little differently, then mm -hmm. you're gonna be like, what's yeah, up, Yeah, but when daddy? I'm having sex, you know? I call him by his name, though. Huh? Well, yeah. Say that again. Mm -hmm. well, she doesn't sex. say daddy. She yeah, means... I call him by their name, because I want them to know I know their name. Oh. <laughs> That brings a whole new definition to the Destiny's Child song, Say, Say My, my Name. My name. Yes. Okay, well, 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 well. <laughs> Look, everybody that got quiet. What yeah, you I'm not quiet. Can you imagine because in this day and I age just... when you could confuse somebody? Can you imagine if you got your partner's like full name, middle name, last name, and their social security number, and you were just yelling that out? Okay. Like, Edward Thornton, five, five, two, eight, three, <laughs> social security. But don't front. In the movie Dirty Dancing, the character Baby, they call her Baby. That's mm -hmm. her nickname. Right. And I thought it was so sexy when he asks her, what's your real name? And she says, Francis. And it sounds so official that, like, yeah, like, the nicknames are cute, but when a man says your full name, that's kind of sexy. Not if it's Francis. <laughs>